kings are the most admired and wealthy people alive, which is why I wanted to make them even more powerful. So I turned myself into a fire king, a leader that can wield fire magic, command an elemental army, and is a hundred times stronger than a regular king. I'll be surviving the next 100 days in Minecraft, being crowned into bigger and stronger forms. Will I be able to defeat the Water King and reclaim my kingdom? Or will my flames be put out? You'll have to watch until the end to find out. On day one, I spawned into the Fire Kingdom as a peasant, tending to my garden. Suddenly, the sky grew dark and rain began to pour down onto the city. Our home was invaded by water knights led by the biggest water monster I had ever seen. The Fire Kingdom's throne will soon belong to me. Bow down to your new ruler, the Water King! The evil ruler tried to take down our kingdom by blasting powerful waves of water onto our walls, but our Fire King soon arrived to stop him. Leave my people alone! The Fire King slashed into the enemy with his massive flaming sword, but the Water King resisted the attack. In response, he used a strong water beam attack on our leader, leaving him badly hurt. No! My king! I rushed to the king's side, but he was running out of time. My dear subject, take my lava sword and carry on my legacy. Only you can find the power to save our home now. The king died and I grabbed his lava sword from the ground, causing me to transform into a more powerful fiery form. I was now the new fire king with 15 hearts and new fire powers. Meng, capture the fire king and destroy him. I ran for my life. On day two, I was being chased through the overworld by the Water King's knights. I ran as fast as I could, but the guards were faster and stronger than me. They were catching up. I crossed over a wooden bridge when out of nowhere I had an idea. Take this! Using my new Fire King powers, I blasted a fire tornado at the bridge, causing it to catch a blaze. The Water Knights weren't gonna reach me now. Whoa, I wonder what other powers a Fire King has. Just then, a water monster stopped me in my tracks. You're not getting away from me! He blasted me with a water attack that left me with low health. I was no match for his power. I kept running for a chance to survive, only to be stopped at a lake. I tried to swim through it, but touching the water caused me to take damage. Come here, Fire King! I can't get through! I'm cornered! On day three, I was about to get killed by the water monster when out of nowhere, a knight in frozen armor jumped in front of me. Get down! The stranger used ice magic to freeze the water monster in place. I had been saved! Who are you? My name is Sir Hawk, King of the Ice Kingdom. We need your help. Take me there! I followed Sir Hawk to the Ice Kingdom to find that his home was being attacked by horrible ice insects. Their ice attacks weren't working, so they needed the help of my flames. Leave them alone! I ran into battle and began to blast down the ice creatures with my incredible Fire King abilities. I thought I had taken them all down, when out of nowhere, I spotted one final ice insect trying to escape. Oh no you don't! I blasted another fire ability at the runaway creature. Unfortunately, my attack missed and hit the Ice Kingdom's sacred icy amulet. Uh-oh, that's not good. The heat from my fire magic destroyed the amulet, causing the entire kingdom to begin melting. Max, this is not good. Without the icy amulet, the Ice Kingdom is now in danger of completely melting. Lives would be destroyed. I'm so sorry. I made a huge mistake. How can I fix this? If you can get another icy amulet, the Ice Kingdom will be restored. Then there's not a moment to waste. On days four through seven, Sir Hawk took me to a giant frozen lake where a sanctuary was seen on the other side. The sanctuary ahead holds the icy amulet. Just then, water knights came running towards us. We had been seen. I'll hold them off. Go get the amulet. Thanks, Hawk. I began running across the icy lake while Sir Hawk held off the enemies. As I traveled across the lake, I realized that the ice under me was beginning to melt. My fiery body was too hot for it to hold me. I ran as fast as I could as the ice collapsed behind me. Luckily, I managed to make it across without falling into the deadly water. I now stood at the monument where the amulet was frozen in a block of ice. There it is! Now's my chance! I walked towards the artifact when suddenly the water monster from before dropped down in front of me. Oh no you don't! This amulet is mine! 
Without warning, the monster attacked me. On days 8 through 10, I was fighting the water monster in order to get my hands on the icy amulet. The water monster used his water attack on me, dealing massive damage. Unfortunately, my fire attacks weren't doing nearly enough damage. You fool! Water will always be fire! The water monster hit me with his water beam ability, leaving me with low health. I can't keep this up! I made a break for the amulet instead and pierced my fire sword in the block of ice, breaking it completely and revealing my prize. I ran over and grabbed the amulet, causing my form to change. I grew bigger in size and my flames became even hotter. I was now a stronger fire king with five more hearts and new fire powers. You don't scare me! The water monster lunged at me and I unleashed my new flamethrower attack onto him. How is this possible? I then used my new fire blast power to finish off the water monster for good. Whoa, the power of the Ice Kingdom made me a stronger king. If I can gain the trust of the other elemental kingdoms, I might be able to save my home. With the icy amulet now in my hands, I returned to the Ice Kingdom and reunited with Sir Hawk. I placed the amulet down on the pedestal and everything was restored back to normal. You saved our home. The people of the Ice Kingdom will serve by your side. Suddenly, we heard the sound of thunder. We looked out in the distance and saw lightning approaching. The storm is approaching. Come with me and I'll protect you from the rain. On days 11 through 14, I followed Sir Hawk to a cave where we took cover just as it began to pour down rain. This storm looks strong. We'll have to wait it out. Here, take this. You can use it while we wait. A smartphone? Wait, this has Arena Breakout, my favorite mobile game. I can't wait to show you how awesome it is. Prepare to be amazed by the revolutionary experience that is Arena Breakout. This is no ordinary mobile game. It's the next evolution of war games in every sense. Envision an extraordinary extraction looter shooter that redefines the landscape of war simulation. Embark on an unparalleled FPS adventure crafted exclusively for mobile devices. It pushes the boundaries of realism to the absolute limit. Take your firearm customization to unprecedented levels with the gunsmith system. Explore 700 parts across 10 slots, unlocking a universe of possibilities. And it's not just for elite gamers. It's fun to pick up and play whether you're a fan of COD Warzone or Escape from Tarkov. Giving players exactly what they want. Gritty action and high stakes combat. The realistic gunplay is my favorite aspect of the game. The variety of combat is great too. You can choose from tactical ops, if charging headfirst into battle is your strategy, or if stealth is more your thing, you can choose covert ops. Either way, survival is the name of the game. Win, and you can expect some awesome loot. Die, and you can lose it all. Arena Breakout delivers high stakes action where success hinges on sharpshooting, plundering, and safeguarding your loot. Each choice carries significance, so make thoughtful selections for your weapons and equipment. Enhance your arsenal with more than 700 mods, ensuring an unparalleled gaming adventure. Let me walk you through this super exciting challenge the creators of Arena Breakout have given me. I'm gonna go from zero to pro survivor. I'm gonna jump into the dark zone with nothing more than a knife and survive for a hundred days. Okay, so maybe not that long, but I will be building in my loot pool and taking on the boss. It's me against the shadows and survival is the name of the game. I stalk the shadows only attacking when I know I can get a kill in. The more kills you get in, the more you can level up at the end of the round. And as I loot more, like getting the shotgun, I'll be able to add upgrades and more. So that turned out to be a pretty easy first mission. But I gotta take on the boss if I want to be a survivor pro. So I'm gonna jump into another mission and get grinding. This time I used a more full-on assault type strategy. This will allow me to take out as many enemies as possible. Okay, sweet, made it to level six. Now I just need to fine tune my equipment and I can try my hand at taking on the boss. He's gonna be over here in the dangerous area or you know, the danger zone. I started as stealthily as possible, but of course I ran into his minions. These guys aren't yellow or funny, but make for good practice before the boss. Taking on the boss was super tough and took a couple of tries, but I was finally able to defeat him. From a nobody with just a knife to a fully geared up warrior taking on the toughest challenges, that's my journey in the dark zone. That's just a small taste of what you can do in Arena Breakout. It's an exhilarating battle through and through. Some of the most fun I've had outside of Minecraft. There's tons more to do. So what's the holdup? Dive into the action, carve out your legacy, and dominate the mobile gaming world with Arena Breakout. Don't miss out. Download using the link in the description and let the adventure kick off. Thanks, Arena Breakout, for sponsoring this message.
that was a ton of fun, but the storm still hadn't passed. Suddenly, a lightning bolt struck down from the sky, causing an electric beast to appear near us. I know you're around here somewhere, Fire King. What does the Electric Kingdom want with me? The thunderous beast began to walk closer towards us, but because of the storm, we couldn't leave the cave. We were going to get captured. I'll distract him. Escape while you can. Without hesitation, Sir Hawk jumped out of hiding and landed a surprise ice magic attack to distract the electric beast. Ah, a trap, men. The Fire King is near. Capture him. A flurry of lightning bolts shot down all at once, summoning a pack of angry electric raptors. They ran towards the cave opening, ready to hunt me down. On days 15 through 17, I was being chased through the cave system by the dangerous electric raptors. Thanks to their powers, they were able to move as fast as lightning. The pack of angry raptors were gaining on me. Things got worse when I soon found myself at a dead end. There was nothing around me but old wooden crates. Oh no, this is bad. You're surrounded. Surrender. One of the electric raptors began shooting bolts of lightning in my direction as I tried to dodge his attacks. Dance, Fire King, dance. Suddenly, the lightning strikes caused one of the crates to set on fire. The flames spread around the room, and I realized I now had the edge. This is my chance. Thanks to the heat around me, my fire attacks were now stronger. I used my flamethrower ability to fight off the electric raptors. They tried to get me with their fangs, but I was able to strike them all down with my fire sword. I have to get out of here. Oh no you don't. I chased behind the raptor to see if he could take me to a lead. On days 18 through 21, I followed the electric raptor back to the overworld where I soon found myself in the electric kingdom. Wow. This place is amazing! Once I found a good spot to hide, I watched as the raptor reported to a huge water bird. Sir, the Fire King got away! What? You're useless! The water bird hit the electric raptor with a powerful wing attack. If you want to see your queen again, then capture the Fire King at once! Oh no! The Water Kingdom captured the electric queen and is forcing people to hunt me down! I need to help them! The water bird looked too tough for me to fight without a plan. Man. I quickly formed an idea and blasted a fire blast into the kingdom, catching his attention. What was that? He went to investigate the disturbance while I ran in to talk to the raptor. Hey, come with me. I'll help you save your queen. The electric raptor listened and the two of us ran away while the water bird was distracted. On days 22 through 25, the electric raptor and I took cover as some water goons ran by searching for us. Where'd they go? We have to find them. Come on. Um, thank you for saving me. My name is Eric. I'm sorry for attacking you earlier. It's okay. You just wanted to help your queen, but I'm on your side. How can we save her? It's not going to be easy. The Water Kingdom trapped her in a prison high up in the sky. I go there myself, but I'm scared of heights. Well, I'd love to help, but I'm not sure how I could get up there. Don't worry, I have just the thing. The two of us stepped out of our hiding place and Eric threw a splash potion of levitation at me. The effects of the potion caused me to start floating upwards. Good luck, Fire King. You're the Electric Kingdom's last hope. I flew up higher and higher until I finally saw the prison in the clouds. There it is! I drifted towards the prison, but suddenly my path was blocked by a water griffin rider who flew in the way. Oh no you don't! Oh yes I do! You're not getting to that prison. I won't let you! The water boat glided towards me and attacked. On days 26 through 28, I was in the midst of an aerial battle with the water griffin rider in the sky. The rider released its mighty water attack onto me. I retaliated by using my flamethrower attack back, but the enemy seemed to brush it off pretty fast. Is that the best you've got? I'll keep this going for as long as I need. This guy's tough. I wasn't sure how much longer the potion was going to last, and at this rate, there was no way I'd defeat the Griffin Rider before its effects wore off, causing me to plummet to my doom below. I need to get to the prison before I fall to the ground. To attempt to get the Griffin off my tail, I flew towards a lightning storm, dodging between the numerous thunder strikes. It was risky flying through the rain, but luckily for me, I was able to maneuver through it quickly. The Griffin Rider got caught in the storm and was struck with lightning from the sky. 
with the Water Kingdom foe out of the way, I was able to move in closer to the prison. As I was flying overhead looking for an entrance, the potion suddenly wore off, causing me to drop into the center of the prison into a room full of guards. Uh-oh. There's the Fire King. Get him. The guards all rushed towards me, and I ran away as fast as I could as they gave chase behind me. On days 29 through 32, I was being chased through the prison by the relentless water guards. I blasted at them with my fire powers, but they were too strong to go down. Just then, I spotted some wooden blocks in the hall and got an idea for how I could escape the guards. Using my fire powers once more, I set the wooden blocks ablaze, blocking their path with raging flames. Ugh, hurry! We can't let him escape! We need backup! Suddenly, even more water guards came out from another passage. These guys never quit! No matter how fast I ran, I couldn't seem to shake them off my trail. That's when I spotted a room coming up ahead of me. Oh, maybe I can take cover in there! I rushed into the room and the guards suddenly stopped. The door shut right in front of me, blocking me from the threat. Huh, that was lucky. Suddenly, water began to pour into the room, flooding it slowly. The water had blocked my only way out. I had walked right into a trap. Oh no, I need to get out of here and quick. But how? On days 33 through 35, the room was filling with water fast and I needed to find a way to escape. I tried to use my fire blast to destroy the door, but it didn't work. Come on. There's gotta be a way out of here! The water finally reached my feet, causing me to start taking damage. The water showed no signs of stopping, filling up the room more and more and chipping away at my hearts. I can't hold on much longer! Just as I thought I was done for, something carved out a hole in the wall. It was Eric, the electric raptor! Don't worry, Max! I'm here to help! He had saved me from certain death as I escaped the flooding room. Eric, I thought you were afraid of heights! I am! I'm absolutely terrified right now! But there's no time to talk! Come on! I followed Eric as he led me through his secret passage, and I narrowly escaped with my life. He gave me some food, and I healed back to full health. Thanks for the help, Eric. No problem. I couldn't let you get killed because I was too afraid. I thought you might need some backup, so I overcame my fear. That's very brave of you. Thanks again. Of course. Now let's go. The queen is waiting. And so the two of us continued together to find her. On days 36 through 39, Eric took me to the electric queen's cell. My queen, we're here to save you. Oh, no. It's a trap! Run! But her warning came too late, as the water bird from before arrived and trapped Eric in a cage. Thanks for bringing the Fire King right to me. Now, you'll die by my talents! The water bird attacked me with his water blast power, dealing massive damage due to my weakness against water. I countered with my dual flaming swords but it was no match for my foe. My flames didn't even scorch his watery exterior. He hit me once more with a stomping wing attack, sending me flying backwards. What's the matter? Can't take a little water? This is bad. At this rate, I'm gonna lose the fight. Suddenly, the Electric Queen called out to me. Fire King, take this. The Electric Kingdom is on your side. The Electric Queen threw a strange glowing artifact out of her cage. I quickly ran over to it and managed to grab it. The artifact caused me to transform into my third form. I gained five more hearts and new powers. Whoa, this is the power of the Electric Kingdom. Using my upgraded form, I blasted the water bird with a stronger fire blast and followed it up with a spinning blade attack with my flame swords. The bird tried to escape by breaking open a side of the prison wall but I eliminated him before he could get away. After winning the battle, I freed both Eric and the queen by smashing through the bars of their cages. You did it! Thank you! The Electric Kingdom will serve you until the end. But before I could celebrate, a random gust of wind suddenly sent me flying off the side of the prison grounds. Ah! On days 40 through 43, I was falling towards my doom from the sky prison. Oh, I can't hit the ground! I won't survive the impact! I then quickly realized I was able to make myself fly thanks to my new form. Woohoo! This is awesome! With my newfound flying powers, I landed on the ground safe and sound. Looking around, I realized I was on a floating island. 
What is this place? You're on Wind Kingdom turf, intruder. I turn towards the source of the voice, only to find myself face to face with a powerful wind warrior. I don't mean any harm. I actually need your kingdom's help to defeat the Water King. The wind warriors aren't interested in peace treaties. You'll pay for walking on our land. Wait, 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 wait. We can talk this out. Take this. I tried to defend myself with my flamethrower ability, setting the ground in front of me on fire. I thought that would stop them, but they were able to fly over the flames. With another big hit, the wind warrior knocked me out. On days 44 through 46, I woke up inside of a cage dangling over a pit of water within the wind kingdom. Uh oh, this is bad. Suddenly, the wind king appeared before me. And it just got worse. Ah, you are finally awake. Look, this is a misunderstanding. Intruders of the Wind Kingdom shall face judgment. If you just let me out of this cage, we can talk it out. With pleasure. With that, he pulled a lever, causing the floor to open up from under my feet. I fell towards the water. But thanks to my new flying ability, I was able to stop myself midair. What is the meaning of this? Die! Please, the Water King is overthrowing everything. I need the help of the Wind Kingdom to defeat him. Very well, we'll join you. But you must prove your worth by completing my three deadly trials. If you survive, the Wind Kingdom will join your team. You got yourself a deal. And so the Wind King took me to the first trial. There, a windbird stood at some kind of starting line. The first trial is to win the aerial race. On your marks, get set, go. On days 47 through 50, I was facing off against the windbird in my first trial, the flying race. I soared through rings and around different obstacles, keeping up with the creature. It was neck and neck. You're not going to beat me! Take this! The wind bird blasted me with a powerful gust of wind, sending me spinning off course. Hey, that's cheating! Who cares? See you later, loser! The bird flew ahead, and I needed to think of a way to get back in the lead. Ugh, there's gotta be a way to even the playing field! Thinking quickly, I blasted my flamethrower at the next ring, causing it to light on fire. Ah! What is the meaning of this? Two can play at that game. The flames were too hot for the windbird to fly through, giving me the chance to pull ahead and take the lead. Enjoy that taste of your own medicine. With that, I managed to beat the windbird and win the race. <laughs> That'll teach you. Cheaters never prosper. The first trial is over, but we're only just beginning. On to trial two. On days 51 through 54, I was taken to a massive obstacle course where fans were blowing over a pit of water. You must make it to the other side of this pit, using nothing but the fans. May the next trial begin! Here goes nothing. I jumped from fan to fan, flying through the air using its powerful gusts. I almost plunged into the water a few times, but I was actually making good progress. Let's make things a bit harder for our Fire King. Wind warriors on the side of the pit started shooting projectiles at me. They managed to knock me off course, but I used my fire spin attack for a boost, giving me the opportunity to reach the next fan. Evading the attacks in midair, I made it to the other side. Yikes, that was a tough one. I didn't think I would make it. You still have one more trial, and it will be your hardest one yet. On days 55 through 57, I was taken to the final trial at a stadium in the Wind Kingdom. For the third and final trial, you will be facing off against my head wind warrior. Suddenly, the wind warrior from earlier dropped down in front of me, but he was much bigger this time. Ah, if it isn't the little fire king, I can't wait to finish where we left off. Whoa, you got big, but that doesn't matter. This time, you're going down. The wind warrior charged towards me. The foe slammed down his massive hammer, shattering my defenses. I knew I couldn't withstand much more at close range, so I put some distance between us, narrowly managing to evade his attack. Using my blast power, I shot fire projectiles at him from afar. But even from across the ring, I still wasn't safe, as he hit me with a long-ranged wind attack. No more running. Face me head on. The foe hit me with an onslaught of wind abilities. I retaliated with my spinning sword attack powers, but the enemy was quick, swiftly dodging left and right. 
Determined to emerge victorious, I hit the Wind Warrior with everything I had. Finally, I was able to defeat him. But before I could get the Wind King to join my side, a water crab dropped in and blasted him with a powerful water attack, sending him flying off the edge. No! Wind King! Thanks for defeating the strongest Wind Warrior. The Wind Kingdom is now ours! Oh no you don't! I ran in to stop the watery foe. On days 58 through 61, I was facing off with the water crab that had struck the Wind King. The water crab hit me with its massive water attacks, bringing me all the way down to low health. I'm already weak from the last battle. What am I gonna do? Suddenly, the wind bird who I had beaten in the first trial swooped down and dropped some healing food in front of me. Save our king. I ate the food, restoring my hearts. With my energy replenished, I jumped back into the fray against the water crab. Using my fire abilities, I was able to fight back against the adversary and keep them at bay. Your flames aren't hot enough to stop me. Then we'll just have to add more fuel to the fire. Just then, more of the Wind Warriors arrived and began to aid me in the battle. With all of our strength combined, we were able to defeat the Water Crab. With them defeated, the Wind King miraculously returned to the arena. You've successfully completed the trials and saved my kingdom. We will join your alliance. Take this as a token of thanks. He handed me a wind ward, which caused me to gain a new sword attack and five more hearts. But there was no time to celebrate before the ground began to tremble and crumble beneath my feet, causing me to fall into the darkness below. On days 62 through 64, I used my flying power to land safely. Before I could get my bearings, I found myself face to face with a massive earth gamma. You! You must have caused that earthquake! Precisely! What was that for? What do you think? Uh. Don't play dumb. I genuinely have no idea what you're talking about. You've been sending that horrible fire monster onto the Earth Kingdom and making it destroy everything. What? Fire monster? I would never do that. Yes, you would. The Water King told us the truth. You should be ashamed. The Water King. Of course. He's deceiving you. I'm on your side. Lies! The earth golem trampled down onto the ground, causing a sand trap to form underneath my feet. I fell inside and sand formed all around me. Ah! I'm stuck! Good luck escaping this one. The earth golem walked off, leaving me completely trapped in this pit. Luckily for me, I used my new form's ability to do a sword attack, breaking all the sand blocks surrounding me. I then climbed out of the pit in search of the golem. Am I being framed for a crime I didn't do? I have to get to the bottom of this. In search of answers, I jumped out of the pit and chased after the golem. On days 65 through 67, I followed the earth golem's tracks until it led me to the center of the earth kingdom. But something wasn't right. The entire place was in shambles. The buildings were all on fire and the civilians were clearly suffering. This must be the work of the fire monster that the golem told me about. Suddenly, one of the civilians spotted me. Oh no! The fire king is here! His yelling alerted the others and they all began to panic. The end is nigh! Everyone! Run! Everyone scattered in fear at the sight of me, running for their lives. No! Wait! Come back! I chased after them to try and tell them that it was all a misunderstanding. I ran after them until I saw that they had trapped themselves in a ring of fire. Don't worry, I'll save you! Using my fire resistance, I was able to run through the flames with ease and put out the nearby fires to rescue the civilians. You saved us? Of course, the fire kingdom doesn't want to hurt you. Suddenly, I spotted the earth golem in the distance walking towards me. Get back here, Fire King! Come with me, we can talk more later. The civilian ran off and I followed suit. On days 68 through 72, the peasant and I were being chased by the Earth Golem. He was hot on our trail and we couldn't seem to escape him. Oh no! What are we gonna do? I have an idea! Using his earth powers, the civilian drew the trees around us, creating a wall blocking the earth golem's vision. Great idea! Come out, come out, wherever you are! The earth golem walked by, barely missing us. Thanks for the help, but why do you guys think I'm trying to hurt you? 
The Earth Golem mentioned the Water King. Did he say that this destruction was my doing? Yeah. The Water King told us that you were behind all this. He said that you sent the fire monster to terrorize our home. He's lying to you. The Water King is trying to turn us against each other. But I'm going to put an end to this. I'll help you guys take down the fire monster. Really? Then you're going to need this. He handed me a map titled the Earth Emblem. This will take you to the kingdom's most powerful artifact. Sounds like just the thing I need. Thanks! Of course. Can't allow an innocent man to be blamed for the crimes of the Water King. You have to take him down. When the coast was clear, I started following the map and headed towards the artifact. On days 73 through 75, I arrived at the location marked on the map. There, on top of a mountain, I found the earth emblem the peasant had told me about. There it is! I was about to grab it when all of a sudden, the Earth King dropped down in front of me, blocking my path. You! Not only have you destroyed our home with your fire monster, but you've come here to rob us of our earth emblem! Please, sir, this is all a big misunderstanding. The Water King is tricking you! You won't trick me! Fire does nothing but destroy! He attacked me with his giant axe, dealing heavy damage. I didn't want to hurt him, but at this rate, I wouldn't survive for much longer. I had no choice but to fight back using my own sword's power. The king was able to channel his inner earth abilities and retaliate with his heavier hits using his axe weapon. The earth king readied his finishing blow. Wait, please. Any last words? Look out! Suddenly, the fire monster that had ravaged the earth kingdom arrived and knocked the king out. No! pay for this! On days 76 through 79, I was fighting against the fire monster that had been terrorizing the Earth civilians. The beast unleashed a blast of flames down onto me. But luckily, thanks to my fire resistance, I was able to endure the attacks and hit him back with my own power. You're gonna have to do better than that! Just then, the fire monster unleashed a water beam instead of fire, dealing massive damage and leaving me with low health. What the? How is a fire monster using water attacks? He was too strong. My only hope for survival was to grab the earth emblem. Barely managing to avoid the fire monster's water attacks, I grabbed the artifact. I gained five more hearts and a new power. You're going down, beast. Using my new ability, I was able to scorch the monstrosity. Thanks to the Earth Emblem's power, the evil creature fell, and the Earth Kingdom was saved. Just then, the Earth King woke from his daze. You defeated the dragon. You really were telling the truth. I'm sorry. It's okay. I just need your help to defeat the Water King. We'd be honored to. Suddenly, a poison assassin sped by and struck the Earth King. <laughs> hey! Get back here! I took off in hot pursuit of the foe. On days 80 through 83, I followed the assassin through the area, but they were too fast on their feet and I couldn't keep up. You're not getting away from me! Using my fire powers, I created a ring of flames, trapping them within it. Eek. What are you doing here? The Water King hired me to take down the Earth King. Give me the cure! I would, honest, but I don't have it. Then you'd better take me to it or you'll be toast! Y y yes sir! The poison assassin led me to a clearing. It's just over here. But there was no cure in sight. What the? Get him, boys! Suddenly, I was ambushed by more assassins. I tried to fight back, but they managed to hit me with a poison dagger. Ah! The poison caused me to start falling asleep. Sweet dreams. With that, everything went dark. On days 84 through 86, my vision returned and I found myself standing alone in a dream realm. Where am I? I looked around left and right. The place was completely empty with no one besides me. Huh, the poison must have knocked me out. Suddenly, the fire king that came before me emerged in front of me. Max, it's so good to see you. Sire, how do I bring the Poison Kingdom to our side? The Water Kingdom will turn on them soon enough. Bring them down when the time comes. Thank you for your guidance, my liege. I just don't want to let you down. You won't, Max. I chose you for a reason. Believe in yourself the way that I do, and you will surely succeed. Just then, I awoke to see a Poison Kingdom citizen standing next to me. What happened? Who are you? I saved you from those evil assassins. I want to help, and I'll take you to the cure you need. But don't you work for the Water King? I don't trust that guy. I want to help. Then lead the way! 
On days 87 through 89, I followed the poison citizen to a cave with a mysterious plant. Is that it? Yes, that's what you need to help the Earth King. I moved towards the cure, but a water general came out of nowhere to stop me. You're not saving the Earth King. Die! The water general attacked with its powerful sword of the sea. I returned fire with my flamethrower and fire beam attacks, but the enemy was unscathed. I knew I couldn't keep up the fight. So I tried to go for the plant, but I was interrupted by a water blast from the water general, causing me to take heavy damage. I won't let you just grab it. This guy's too tough. What am I gonna do? As the water general readied the finishing blow, I thought I was done for. That's when, all of a sudden, the poison citizen ran in and hit the water general with a poison attack. Hey, stunned! Get the cure! Phew! That was a close one! Thank you! Seizing the moment, I grabbed the plant and the two of us took off running while we still had the chance. You'll pay for this! The Poison Kingdom will face our wrath! On days 90 through 92, I returned to the Earth King and cured him with the plant I got. Thank you for saving me. How did you manage to get this? My friend here stunned a water general with his poison. What? Oh, don't mention it. You don't need to thank me. Did you say the water axe? Uh, yeah? He's the Water King's general. He will seek revenge! Oh no, the Poison Kingdom's in trouble. The two of us hurried to the Poison Kingdom only to find that it was already under attack by the water forces. We can't let them hurt the Poison King. Evacuate the city and I'll help him. On it! I jumped into the fray and fought off the smaller enemies using my fire powers. Fortunately, I had grown over the course of my journey, and I was able to strike down the goons until I had created a clearing towards the stairs that led to the Poison Palace. This is my chance. Time to show the Poison King that the Fire Kingdom is an ally. And so, I headed towards the castle. On days 93 through 95, I arrived inside of the Poison Palace only to find the Water General from before looming over the Poison King. Leave him alone! Ah! So you've come back to save the kingdom that betrayed you. They only did that because you threatened them. I'm saving this place from the wrath of the Water King. I'd like to see you try. The Water General charged at me, hitting me with great impact. The foe was just as powerful as before, but I couldn't allow my determination to waver. Despite his strength, I fought back with my laser power, but it wasn't enough. I could barely scratch him. At this rate, I wouldn't be able to defeat him before all my health was gone. Fire King, take this. The king handed me a strange poison artifact. It caused me to gain new powers and five more hearts. Thank you. Of course, us kings have to stick together, right? That doesn't matter. I'll still win. Filled with rage, the water general attacked me once more. But this time, I was able to dodge it. Channeling the power of the artifact the poison king gave me, I used my new explosion ability to deal massive damage to the enemy. With that, the water general fell to my newfound might. You saved us. We'll do anything to stop the evil of the water king. Suddenly, the ceiling above us exploded, revealing the water king himself in the flesh. You'll pay for this, you pest. With that, he began to terrorize everything in sight. Even with my new explosion power, I knew I stood no chance against the water king. So the poison king and I fled. Time to assemble the kingdoms. We're ending this once and for all. On days 96 through 98, I reunited with the rulers of all of the elemental kingdoms, and we stood around an ancient circular table used in times of peace. Thank you for agreeing to meet with me, my fellow monarchs. I've gathered you all here today to discuss the Water King and his evil plans. We have to combine our forces and take him down together. After what you did for my kingdom, we'll serve you until the very end. Same for the Electric Kingdom. You have a strong character. The Wind Kingdom would be happy to serve you. You saved my life and opened my eyes to the truth. The Earth Kingdom is on your side. I'll do anything to right our wrongs. Let's take down the Water King. Thanks, guys. With all of our forces combined, I know we'll be able to take down the Water Kingdom. Yeah! <laughs> Or at least we would, if we knew where the Water Kingdom was. Right. That's definitely a hitch in our plan. Actually, I've located the whereabouts of the Water Kingdom, and I put it on this map. Awesome! Then we can strike tomorrow! The Water King is going down! Woohoo! <laughs> 
On day 99, I arrived at the Water Kingdom with the combined powers of all the other elemental kingdoms at my side behind me. We've got this, men! Stand strong and stick together! The Water King's guards stood in front of his kingdom, ready and eager to face us in battle. Everyone, charge! Ah! Our armies rushed in and our forces clashed. The battlefield was full of all the different elements colliding. Luckily, many of the elements at my disposal were strong against water, and with the help of all of my new powers, we were taking down water goons left and right. We were beginning to win the fight, until suddenly a giant water knight came to put a stop to me. You're not reaching the king. Oh, I beg to differ. If you want to get to him, you'll have to get through me, and that's not gonna happen. He attacked me. I fought back but he didn't go down right away like the others. It was clear this was the Water King's desperate attempt to waste my time. I need to get to the Water Palace, but I can't get past him. We'll take care of this guy. You go for the Water King. With that, the elemental leaders ran at the giant water knight, surrounding him on all sides and barraging him with their different powers. Thank you, everyone. I'll win this for you all. I ran ahead towards the palace while the other leaders held off the guard. Finally, on day 100, I arrived inside of the Water King's chambers, ready to face him for the final battle. Looks like the little Fire King has arrived. It's over. I'm taking back my kingdom and ending your evil reign. Please, I'll kill you just like the Fire King before you. Water will always beat your flames. Not while I have the help of all the other kingdoms behind me. With that, we charge into battle. The mighty Water King shot powerful streams of water at me, and I dodged them the best I could, while retaliating with blasts of fire that struck his liquid body. He summoned whirlpools that sucked me into their center, dealing damage and making it much harder for me to maneuver out of the way. I spat all you have got! Once I was free from his cyclones, I charged in close and started wailing on him with my fire blades. He was extremely powerful, but I could feel him beginning to weaken when he started spawning water minions to defend him. I blasted through them all and continued my fiery onslaught down upon him. I could see him starting to falter, and I knew it was time to go for the killing blow. For the Fire Kingdom! With one final blast, I killed the Water King. The day had been saved, and I had regained control of my home. Yeah, I did it! Don't forget to download Arena Breakout using the link in the description. Thanks Arena Blackout for sponsoring this video.